for the Thank you, Thank you so much. Well, hi, Joe. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you doing? I'm fine. Well, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed your character, Frank. He's a cop who doesn't have the traditional methods to do his job. But at the same time, he's very human and always protects the people of New Orleans. What do you think of him? Yeah, he's a human being, you know? That, that's the thing that I find most fascinating, uh, both to as, as an actor to play him and also when I watch the movie, that he, he's not perfect. He's, like you said, he is really protective and cares a lot about his city and the people in it. Uh, but he's also seduced by, you know, some basic human vices, you know, like the desire for power, wanting to take that pill, wanting to find out what his power is. And um, yeah, that's what makes him a, a human. About, but I'll do anything to find that source. Listen to my voice. Am I lying? Jamie. Your character is a man who is looking to fulfill his mission, no matter what. And later we understand his motivations to get involved in all this trouble. In what aspects would you say Jamie Foxx and Art are similar? Uh, I, I think that we're similar in the fact that we have two uh, young ladies in our lives that we care dearly about my real daughters and then my movie daughter and my niece, my right hand woman, uh, Dominique Fishback, who it's always great to do a movie to when you watch somebody get theirs. Young, how's it? Uh, and just some, you know, backstory. When they showed this movie, you know, for people, you know, when she does her, uh, her, her rap, it just takes off. So um, it's it's one it's wonderful it's wonderful to be able to watch to watch it unfold, you know. And so that's how I'm similar to art. My art is my art. Welcome to Project Power. Our goal is simple: the next evolution of the human species. Vicky is una de las mentes detrás de todo el proyecto Power. Y hay una escena en particular donde le hacen honor a su nombre. Pero, ¿cómo definirías a tu personaje y qué crees que lo hace especial? Bueno, Biggie es, te voy a decir, es, es un visionario. Es un, un hombre muy confiado en su visión, que quiere llevar este producto para todo el mundo. Es, es un vendedor pero es un vendedor con una personalidad muy particular y con ideas particulares, con una forma, una performance muy particular. Bueno, eso lo, lo trabajé con los directores. No sé si esto lo ve así, pero esta es la, la idea. Es un personaje contradictorio porque la primera sensación que tuve leyendo el guión era, o sea, es un dealer, eh, podría calir en una caricatura, una especie de estereotipo y, y yo estaba un poco preocupado con eso. Entonces pensé, ¿cómo podemos hacer para humanizar a este hombre, para dejarlo una persona, aunque sea villano, villano, malo, lo que sea? Y entonces pensé que podría trabajar con el opuesto. Con, con, o sea, si es muy confiado en su visión, ese hombre en, así que, es, que, que sabe lo que está haciendo, pero por debajo de todo, si fuera un hombre muy inseguro, que tenía mucho miedo de varias cosas y por eso debería se autoafirmarse construyendo esta esta persona eh, y, que es un personaje es una performance y entonces Biggie es un personaje y hay un hombre por debajo de Biggie eh, por eso eh, fue interesante trabajar con esta contradicción y con para construir un poco de capas para el personaje eh, y, y, y tiene un rol muy importante en, en la venta de las cosas y, y, y en todo lo que, lo que pasa en, en, en la historia, pero a mí, para mí lo más interesante fue trabajar esta dualidad y trabajar también la transformación. No quiero dar spoilers para la gente, pero también lo que pasa con el personaje. Money, I'm, I'm 
feel it, so they get it. I'm embedded with the power. A pure power. I'm embedded with the power. Would you take it? Uh, in the film, your character raises a very interesting idea about the use of this pill. He's a cop and he uses it to do good things. And we know that all over the world there is a debate about the use of drugs. What do you think about it? Do you think the same as Frank? Uh, what do I think about drugs? I mean, Yeah, I think drugs is really about how you use them. I think they can be used in a really harmful way and they can be really dangerous. And uh, unfortunately, they often are when people aren't responsible with how they use them. Uh, I think they also can be used in a really positive way. Um, and, and of course, it depends on the drug. There's there's different kinds. Um, and, and the same goes for really all kinds of technology, because ultimately a drug is just a kind of a technology. Technology is just anything that humans build to give them power. And uh, all, all technologies are usually, or I should say, all technologies have the potential to be helpful or the potential to be harmful. And uh, it's really up to the human beings using the technology to, to decide whether it's going to be, uh, you know, providing that help or inflicting that harm. Dominic, uh, your character shows a superpower that is different from the others. She's a great rapper, and I think her best weapon is her mind. But talking about music, what rap song do you think would define Robin? Oh, that's a good one. What rap song <laughs> would... <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, 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 Juicy, Juicy by Big Whoa, Whoa. it was oh, all a dream. I used to be, yes, hanging okay. pictures on my wall. Mm -hmm. And why, <laughs> what'd you say? Why would it be Juicy <laughs> by Big Um, I think it's, it's Juicy, right? Because when uh, he says, like. Um, like the, 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 I can't remember the lyrics right now, but the teachers didn't believe in him or something like that. And like, she has that kind of incident with her teacher in the class. Oh, out of high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like exactly. So the teacher is not really like kind of picking on her a bit. Like, what are you going to do? What's so great that you can't focus on in my class and, um, kind of calls her out. And so I feel like that's like juicy would be her perfect revenge song after making her her rap at the end of the movie and her taking off however she, however she may take off that's like a, a perfect theme song for her if you had the chance to uh, play other character of this movie what would you what would you what would it be and why if i had a chance to play a different character in this same movie yeah that's an interesting question i don't think anyone's ever asked me that before What character would I play? Um, uh, huh. I guess I'd, I'd probably uh, take the, the Biggie role, the one that Rodrigo plays. Um, I mean, he's brilliant at it, so I, I, I definitely don't think I could do it any better than him. But he also just seemed to be having so much fun getting to like be that kind of uh, elusive salesman who then turns into this giant ogre. I, I'm always kind of fascinated with the ability to transform and he transforms into this, such this crazy monster. Uh, I think I would get a kick out of that. ¿Qué opinas de la posibilidad que en estos momentos tiene la audiencia de ver en una misma película a un reparto que por supuesto te incluye a ti junto a otros actores como Jamie Foxx y Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Me encantó la idea. E incluso fue una de las, de las cosas que más me ha atraído en el proyecto, eh, la oportunidad de trabajar con Jamie eh, y con Joseph también. Dominic no la conocía, pero es talentosísima. Eh, pero trabajar con estos dos actores que he crecido, bueno, Joseph es más o menos contemporáneo conmigo, pero por Jamie lo he visto casi todas sus películas. Y para mí es muy importante eh, la experiencia que voy a tener en un trabajo. 
porque no se puede olvidar que además del resultado de, de la película, de la obra de teatro, lo que sea, en cuanto estamos trabajando, estamos viviendo, o sea, es una experiencia de vida. Para mí es importante que la experiencia sea algo que me va a acrecentar, que me va a hacer crecer. Y eso ha sido increíble. Me divertí muchísimo, porque Jamie especialmente es un tipo muy divertido, pero muy divertido. Así, la atmósfera en, en el set era... Estábamos jugando todo el tiempo, así. Fue muy, muy, fue muy, muy placentero. One of the things I liked about this movie was the weird relationship between Art and Robin. Really like Batman and Robin. But what other movie or series do you think they would both work on like they did on Project Power? Uh what would we what would we work on? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just so listen. I'm just I'm. I gotta get Project Power out first before we start talking about before we start talking about franchises and, and, and TV series. Let's do a buddy comedy. We do a buddy comedy, right? So cool. Yeah. We'll kill it. We'll kill it. What do you think? Uh, what aspects would you say Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Frank are similar? I mean, I think in the end, he's trying to be helpful. And uh, at the end, I, I think I'm trying. I'm, I, I do my best to try to help. I'm, I don't help in the same way as a police officer. I'm not like guaranteeing anybody's safety, but I do think there's <clears throat> there's some kind of help that art and, and creativity and stories and movies provide to people. Uh, so I, in the end, I, I do want to be helpful. And, and at the same time, I think I'm also just like Frank, I'm, I'm guilty of being somewhat greedy or somewhat self-oriented or somewhat you know, uh, seduced by the dark side of of my role. And I, I try to avoid it. You know, I, I try to just stick to um, the, the positive aspects, the creative process. But uh, I'm only human, just like Frank. I'm not a hero, not a not from another planet. I haven't been bit by a magic spider. Um, I've got my virtues and I've got my vices, uh, just like Frank. And uh, so I guess in that, we are uh we're similar well that's all thank you so much joseph and thank you very much <laughs>